Well, someone has to go out there. Don't look at me. I'm the doctor. I can't go. I'm the captain. Well, hey, I can't go because I'm not cleared for the airwalk. Crewmate Purple, you better suit up. One of our system guidance computers broke outside Mira, and we need you to fix it. Be safe out there. Don't be like Yellow. Mira HQ was supposed to be the easy assignment for me. But over the course of my stay here, well, let's just say there was way more work going on than play. Then this whole catastrophe happened. One of our guidance systems went down, and the only way to fully reinstall it and fix it was to go outside Mira HQ onto its panel and fix it from its terminal. Without that, we could literally fall out of the sky, and the left side of our guidance is offline. Yellow was our technician. Meanwhile, I'm the jack of all trades, every task guy. My job here was nothing more than to be a second string to everyone. I worked on people's off days doing their tasks. That was my job. My job was probably the most important to mission success. But naturally, I had the most to do and learn. We felt a giant jolt of energy when it happened. Kind of like when you're driving a car and you suddenly stop. We were all thrown forward. System critical alarms started going off. We quickly got on our feet and got to admin. We finally understood what was wrong when we made it to the main terminal. The system guidance, well half of it, the left side at least, it was down. Yellow was our primary technician with me serving as backup. I had only about 70% of his knowledge. Not bad for also being the backup doctor and scientist. Our captain and senior crew knew it was obvious we needed to send Yellow out there for repairs. To even go outside Mira though, just like space, you need a special suit. Imagine a space suit, but more so for being pelted with 200 mile an hour winds as you're sustained in mid-air. Well, it's been two hours since we sent Yellow, and our captain confirmed the worst. Yellow is dead. Yellow fell off the side, at least that's what we think. His suit's magnetic field must have failed. I was up next. I know. Hey, no pressure. Yellow couldn't make the repairs, but me, with someone 30% less knowledge, can sure do it. I was meant for basic day-to-day -day tasks. Not to serve as some backup to save the whole crew from mission critical. I got into my airsuit. I looked behind me at those cowards. I mean my crewmates. You know, if they just sent me out there with Yellow in the first place to assist him? Well, it's too late to think like that. I opened the airlock and I went outside Mira HQ. The sheer force of the wind knocked me back. The suit adjusted for this and away I went. I walked the small section meant for repairs and I looked down. You couldn't even see all the way down to the ground. Poor Yellow. We couldn't even retrieve their body. I made it to the broken system guidance terminal. Wait, that's odd. It looks like it's already repaired. The only thing left to do is press the reset button, which sends the OK signal back to the base inside. <laughs> you know, it's awfully crazy up here, Yellow said to me, coming out of hiding. He walked closer to me. <laughs> you know, Purple, it's a long drop down. He grabs me, and I don't want to make this trip alone. No, let me go. You're going to make me fall. 